All right, everyone, welcome back yet again to American McGee's Alice. Uh, last time we left off, we had defeated the Mad Hatter and freed our friend the Griffin, who dropped us off in the realm of fire and brimstone, which is where we will have to defeat the Jabberwock and get the final piece of the Jabberwock's eye staff. Jabberwock's eye. Lots of essence. So yes, shall be fun times for all, except for the Jabberwock, because we're going to be murdering him and stealing his eye. Which is kind of gruesome. But at the same time, the Jabberwock is kind of a dick, so in a way it's justified. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, here is a new enemy I don't remember the name of. Uh, as you can see, nothing too bad. They don't drop, as far as I know, uh, meta essence though, which is kind of a crap deal. Maybe they do. Or maybe it's just the, the red ones. <clears throat> I don't actually remember. Now, do I really need that? Considering these guys die so quickly, I'm guessing no. Ah, Boojums! No, you die. You die, Boojums, you die. So if you're willing to dare it, there is... Oh, God. Oh, crap. That is far the back man meant to go. No! <laughs> yeah, there's those fish things. I was actually going to point out that there was a heart over there if you wanted to get it. Recruit and whatever allies you can, Alice. We'll need them all. I'll return with reinforcements. Take heart. Can I take your heart? Anyways, um... I forgot about those stupid fish things that have a tongue that is Yoshi-like and can pull you into the lava. Get a knife to the face. This section doesn't take too long to get through. I'm gonna see if you things drop health. Or if it's just a red friend over there that does. Oh, oh they do, okay. I must have just been standing on top of him when he dropped it.
those. So we're going to save here. And let's see, where is... Yeah, oddly enough, the numbers are... So knife is one, two, three, four, five. There's nothing on six. Seven is the dice, eight is nothing, nine is nothing, zero is the stopwatch. there were a couple weapons that we haven't gotten yet, like the, uh, the blunderbuss. Oh, and the throwing jacks, that's right. As I stand there and get pulled into the lava, I am goddamn fish. So I don't know what the cooldown on this pocket watch is, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Whoever it was that designed those. Also, the fact that the Cheshire Cat never said anything about the Jacks. Leads me to believe that I miss them. Oh, 
originally. I think you could actually find them in that, um, that giant glass lab, or not glass, the uh, mirror maze. Pretty sure that's where you find them originally. Trying to trying to jump. She would fucking do it. Okay. No, Alice. Come on, you. As you see the reason that I use save states and quick saves, it's not always because I'm bad at games. I mean, I'm bad at some of them, but some of them, they're just absolute pricks. Like this section, at least. Difficult jumps in this section. And the fact that there's still blue gems. I don't care if they've gotten easier to kill, there's still blue gems. So I'm not implying that anyone said I was bad at video games, it's just, that seems to be kind of a, uh, The time for action Oops. has arrived. You should not waste today. No lame excuses do you contrive, nor tolerate delay. It talks like I'm on holiday, Kat. Wandering about, having a bit of fun. The Oracle's an idiot. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. You bizarre creature. I was beginning to like you. Like me or don't, but believe me, Jabberwock must be eliminated. Now, blow open the gates and confront the Queen. I don't have the final piece of the staff. Without his eye, how can it be done? I don't know. But you must. The situation is urgent. What good are you to me? I'm supposed to attack this ferocious creature, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. It's no one else's, Alice. Only you can save yourself. Save myself? From death? Is that it? Is that why I've come here? I'm not afraid to die. Times I've welcomed death. Not death. 
What then? A fate worse than death. I'm not stupid. Don't make me think you are. Think what you will, but know this. You withdrew from your world after the fire because you could not bear your terrible loss. When you answered Rabbit's call, you began to emerge from your tragedy. Stay on this path, Alice. Save yourself, and you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. What I've been feeling, I am beginning to understand. I broke this world, and only I can repair it. Go well, Alice. The Jabberwock waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. So yes, it just now clicked for Alice that this is all in her head and that if she saves herself, she will save Wonderland. But anyways, back to my rant I was going on earlier. Um, I think that's kind of a, a stereotype that only people who suck at games use save states, which in some instances can be true, because um, there are some games that... Oh, guess what you guys get to watch again, that same cutscene. No, I'll make sure to skip it. Well, um, there are times where... It is because someone is just flat out bad at a game. But there are other times where it's because the game is really not a well-made game. The time for action has arrived. You should not waste a day. No lame excuses do you contrive, nor tolerate delay. So, I don't know. As much as I was trying to get away from save states, or from quick saves, there are certain games that I am going to use them in, just because, like with this game, there's a lot of stuff that's just there purposely to make your life miserable. And while I understand why the developers put them in, it doesn't make the game fun for me, and it doesn't make it fun to watch. So. Yeah. For this part, with the Jabberwock and these more difficult platforming bits, I am going to use save states. I'll just refer to them as save states even though they're quick saves. Just because, as you can tell probably by my manner of speaking, um, I am getting kind of frustrated with this game. times where some of this stuff shouldn't be as difficult as it is just because like here she's supposed to grab onto that ledge but as you saw just a moment ago she didn't and so because she didn't I ended up dying so yeah just getting a little irritated. Here, there's also certain situations like this where you get stuck on something that you shouldn't be able to get stuck on. And yeah. I 
Anyways, time to fight the Jabberwock. I think I have enough time left. Yeah, about 10 minutes. I doubt it'll take me that little, but... Let's give it a go. Because, yeah, the Jabberwock's kind of a jerk, too. You've kept me waiting, Alice. Have you never heard that punctuality is a virtue? You and my dentist's assistant have much in common. You're habitually late, aren't you? Between your dim-witted daydreaming and your preening vanity, the hours just fly by. There's barely time for anything else. That the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults, they don't hurt. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their trouble. We were all asleep. It was an accident. I... Selfish, misbegotten, and unnatural child. You smelled the smoke, but you were in dream. And taking tea with your friends. You couldn't be bothered. Your room was protected and spared, while your family upstairs roasted in an inferno of incredible horror. being able to do this. There we go. I, say, I know he had more moves than that. My staff is yours. The troops are gathered. Wow. Everything is ready. I'll deal with the Jabberwock. You are our champion. Lead us to victory in Queensland. That's actually the easiest time I've ever had with the Jabberwock before. That took me all of about four minutes. So I like it how the map just kind of undid itself for a second there. Oh, look who it is. Cigar. Ah, and 
guess the Pale Realm is now blocked. We can no longer go in there. susceptible to the, uh, the ice wand, so that does help. Faces. Only the Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. Which is number nine. And yes, there are two parts to the uh, Jabberwock's eye staff. The first of which, um, pardon my yawning, is a uh, charge beam that you, of course, charge and that fires the beam. And then when you're done firing the beam and you let go of the mouse button, the uh, tail of the beam has an explosion behind it. So, pretty beefy. But as you saw, the longer you hold down the, uh, the button, the more mana it drains. So, yes. Um, we'll see how far we can get in the maze. I only have about a minute left. And I died. Yep, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, yeah, doing four episodes in one day definitely starting to wear on my patience, so um, probably not do that again. Um, but I did feel kind of bad that I didn't have anything up yesterday, so I figured I would do a uh, kind of a bonus today. So hopefully this was still at least some fun to watch. Um, even with me being kind of grumpy about some parts. So, anyways, that'll be it for this time around. We shall see you next time where we shall take on the Majestic Maze. Until then...